Okay, so we're back outside now. What I've done is I've shimmied the prussic knots all the way to the ends of both sides of the rope. There you can see the prussics, and you can see where the rope is uh, taped off here at the ends. And then, if you could just pan way back and get the tree. I'm just in my front yard right now, and I've thrown one side up over a tree branch. So now, I'm using that as a central fulcrum. Now, you can do this over um, any kind of rafter. You can go to the playground. You can do it over the swing set. Um, earlier this morning, I went to the uh, basketball court and threw it over the support beam just behind the backboard. So there's, there's a lot of versatility of where you can do this. Now, um, the prussic knots, if you loosen them up a little bit by pushing back through the loop, they get loose. Now this tree's a little bit tall, so I brought a stool with me to show you this. And then these will just slide right up the rope, up or down. And when you get it to the place where you want for that particular exercise, then you just uh, re-secure the knot and tighten it up. So I'll do that on both sides and get this a little taller. Now, I think what I'll do for right now, while I'm up here on the stool, is I'm going to go get my wooden dowel. Of course, this is completely optional. You can just use the handles, but if you want the dowel, what I do is I just slide it right through the hole that we have our handle loop through. Remember that one where we put our four fingers earlier? You just slide your dowel right through that hole on one side and then on the other side. I would recommend putting it in the hole above the figure eight knot, the hole between the figure eight and the prussic, not at the uh, loop at the end underneath the figure eight. And then of course from here, what you've got is a trapeze or a pull-up bar, depending on how you want to do it. So, you know, if you're using the, the dowel, these are going to be in your way, but it's really not that hard to work around it if you want to hang from this. All right, now this is good because I got one of my prussics is slipping. So that happens a little bit, and that's why I was thinking about upgrading to the rope because I think that the straps are more likely to slip than the ropes are. So what I've got to do is spread that prussic back out, make sure that each one of the loops is getting as much surface area in contact with the rope as I can. There, now that should be holding. So I'm about 215 pounds, and you can see that this has taken my weight pretty good. Those knots are holding me right up off the ground. So from here you have a pull-up bar, you have chin-ups. If you want to try to do full body ups or you want to do kipping pull-ups, you can do all of that from there. Um, next, we'll lose the bar. We'll shimmy our ropes back down a little bit. And by the way, this tree that I'm on is really tall. Um, it's taller than most playground equipment. So I can't get these to come all the way down, um, but if you were on a lower bar or you had a longer rope, you could of course get these down on ground level, you could do push-ups and this sort of thing. Um, I'll get it as low as I can go. And then I'll show you. Um, from here, you can do um, like a rose. So you can get down low, back straight, and pull, doing rows like this. You can push up and do dips like that. Um, if you go onto YouTube and you look up gymnastic ring, if you look up... Um, There's another one, uh, boy, there's a gym and I can't remember the name right now. Um, if you just look up gymnastic ring exercises, uh, you'll see a lot of different ideas you can do with the rings for fitness. And uh, there's a few gyms 
that uh, specialize in this sort of thing, and they're all over YouTube as well. So that's how I use my $35 home gym. Hope you have fun with yours, and uh, if you have any ideas for how to make this thing better or refine it if you make one, and, and yours just seems to be working better than mine, please post comments under this video. All right, have fun.